All right, Stay Spiritual team, James and Justin, back again at the front end of the week where we like to dive into the arts. We like to keep it light. And we got a little bit of the skibbity bee bop doodle bop dop toilet 74. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have done a reaction to this one once before, but it is a little bit of a cultural phenomenon, these videos done by, what is it, Dafuk Boom? This is the name of the, of the cre creator. Uh, this was like number two on most trending, most popular on YouTube. It's a strange new world. Can you imagine waking up on Saturday morning to cartoons when you were growing up and seeing this? Yeah, oh yeah. And uh, and it's so cool. Like it's it's a I love this sort of thing because it's unique and it reflects what you know artistic progression. Yeah. It's just like look where things are going. I'm not familiar with all the lore behind this because yeah, we've yeah. kind of skipped several before we got to this point, but. Get ready to, if you haven't seen this before, you're about to see something very strange. This is like strange and interesting and you can go back and watch all of them from the first one to see the progression, there's a oh, progression yeah. to it. Halftime, halftime break. 
seems like there's been a little bit of an evolution since the last time I even like looked at this and it makes me wonder like where is this going? Is this just gonna go forever? I wonder what I'm curious has the uh, content creator of this ever been like interviewed or like uh, yeah I'm, I'm there's I have so many questions about this. It's like t the TV camera people versus the toilet people. And the toilet people look like they've like evolved and now they're all, they're becoming more humanoid. Everything's evolved. And yeah, yeah we obviously missed some stuff in between because I haven't really looked into it since the last reaction we did. Like there's a little more variety to the face. Like are they different guys' faces or are they just variations of the yeah. same person's face? Who is that? I, I know. Who's I know. the face model after? Um, and the person whose eyes we're looking through or whose screen we're looking through, can they teleport? Is that one of the things going? Are they phase mm. shifting through walls? Yeah. Um, it's This is strange. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this is a cultural phenomenon. This is huge. At Halloween, somebody, our brother-in-law dressed up as oh, one yeah, of the speaker yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. And his costume was awesome. Yeah. And uh, I think maybe one of his kids was one of the characters too. I can't remember. But um, this is like a very odd cultural phenomenon. I, I'm curious about like if the hardcore fans, and maybe you can let us know in the comments about maybe some of the hidden meanings behind this. Is there anything deeper going on? Was this just some person who got really popular making these funny videos about this? Or uh, is there something deeper going on? Is there like a greater... Because they're warring against each other. Um, is there any type of symbology going on here? Without knowing the answer to that, I'll yeah. f I feel like there's probably Easter eggs throughout it that are like if you're in the know, you know what certain references are in there maybe. But other than that, I actually feel like there is no greater message, and that's the magic of it. It's like, yeah. uh, for some reason, it reminds me of when you're a kid and you're kind of world building with your own imagination, and you're maybe doodling a picture, or you're playing with your toys, and you're like, this is the army general, and this is the guy, and then it just, you yeah. know, escalates and escalates and escalates. I feel like there's a there's an element of that to it. It's like a very simple premise, toilet guys versus you know Camera speaker TV. guys yeah, yeah. but even in a simple yeah. concept like that look at how far it's gotten yeah what were they torturing those ones guys they go into the room and there's a record playing and those guys are like possessed yeah from it yeah you know there's so much going on i know i know all right well let's continue on <laughs>
Well, there you have it. There's a special guy at the end, man. I feel like I'm watching Twin Peaks or something. Like, it's like, I, I don't know what the heck is going on some of the time. <laughs> it's like sci fi, Mad Max, abstract. I don't know. So, it's got so many little elements in there. I'll tell you one thing, it would make a dope video game. Yeah. Well, I. It, Ow. Uh, yeah, yeah. You maybe, maybe just gave an idea to someone out there to make a video game out of this. Um, but. Uh, one of the reasons I also kind of like gravitated towards this when I saw it was I saw an interesting advert. I don't know. It wasn't really an advertisement. It was more like uh, people just talking about this new software coming out. Uh, and it might, it might be like a new streaming platform for AI where you basically give it the story you want it to tell. And it produces like a cartoon or animated story for yourself. So we're... It's shocking that we're already there, that we're already going into that realm, but it'll be super fascinating to see some of the strange and quirky ideas that come out of that when people who don't necessarily have all the skills that this creator has to kind of like put this together, but get their weird, strange thoughts out onto some like digital platform uh you know through prompts or whatever technique they use i think it's going to be really fascinating some of the content i think we're going to start seeing more stuff like this moving into the future which is going to be good for everyone i think we're just going to get to enjoy lots of really creative ideas and start you know moving out of some of like just the, the same old same mainstream content that always gets recycled and regurgitated over and over again yeah there's several different technologies advancing at once one of the th one of the things that i've checked out is immersive um entertainment like on the vr set yeah like there's a show that you're in when you watch the show mm. on uh, the oculus yeah that i was using and it was pretty cool it makes you a little dizzy the headset's still a little heavy for me you know but it's going in that way but when you're watching this show, I think it's called The Faceless Lady or whatever. Yeah. It's like, it is what it is. It's not even necessarily what I would normally watch. But it is cool to be in the movie you're watching as the drama is happening and be able to like turn your head and be like, oh, there's like action going on over here. But there's also somebody here. And yeah, all that stuff's pretty cool. And yeah, I, I didn't I never heard of what you just said that you can start to input your what you would like to see in the AI will craft it and make yeah. a storyline. We kind of there's been predictions about that for the last couple of years since oh, this yeah. stuff has taken off. And one thing I'll say is sometimes I really like like the light the look of some of the things that AI puts out, especially when it's sort of like retro, like when they make something look like an eighties or seventies film. Yeah. But it's it's like I don't know. There's just something so unique about yeah. some of the imagery that comes out of that. The way th the use of colors and stuff like that. It, it, there's a specific look that I wish somebody would come up with a name for so you could like save that as a prompt. Yeah, like, yeah, make yeah. it look like the imagery that I saw from those early AI depictions of the yes. 80s. Yeah, yeah. So that was long-winded. Well, anyway. we're, we're just, you know, we are just in the beginning of the, this AI era and all the different types of entertainment that are, are going to come out. Uh, let us know what you guys think about that in the comments. Um, are you excited about it? And what would you like to see? Uh, because we're, again, we are in the very beginning and I think we have amazing days of entertainment to come. And for those of you a little nervous about that, those of you that feel like, well, you know, I don't have a stake in that and I'm not excited about that. I also believe that always th there's an opportunity for whatever opposing forces out there for it to find novel opportunity in lieu of that like yeah. you may see a weird return to like puppetry or something you may see people return to like live played out yeah. things in miniature like you got to get a ticket and see it in real life you got to experience it in real life it's yeah, cool. yeah and then a mixture of those things yeah. and it's funny you said that because i also saw a, a video um come out recently that with all the emergence of this ai uh technology coming out what you're talking about is going to become like a real thing it's like i ain't going to do it unless it's real human i need to see me some human not and and for the people that like <laughs> to keep it political like yeah. to keep it social there will be platforms where it's like have you seen so and so's movies that he prompts ai to create yeah. you know you got to subscribe to his account and yeah, yeah he yeah. comes up with some really cool stuff and then you there's a trading and a connection through that too yeah. it's all novel yeah. it's all interesting and
and I hope it's a bright, shiny future for us all. That's right. We'll end it there. Hopefully you guys liked our reaction. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share this with a friend, and everyone, till next time, stay, stay spiritual. spiritual.